On Thursday, I am hosting a kids like little Halloween party for Rocky and Echo. This is the first like successful fruit we have had. I decided that we're gonna make the balloon arch right now. A little peek at Echo's Halloween costume. We just booked a very exciting vacation. I am recently re-obsessed with my shark like hair curler blow dryer situation. I kind of forgot about the curling aspect of it, but I literally just threw a few curls in my hair. This is like day three hair post gym and it just kind of gave some life back into it. But the other thing that I'm obsessed with is this claw clip. I mean, have you guys seen a cuter claw clip? Because I truly have not. I got these two hair accessories from a company called Shop Andy and I just love them so much. I wore this one yesterday and I was gonna wear it again today, but my hair is just a little too dirty for it. So we're gonna go for a like voluptuous pony with this cute little scrunchie. Hi, beautiful. Would you like to help? Is it cloudy? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, it might be a little cloudy today. Are you doing your weather board? Hey, Spider-Man, it's time to take your multivitamin. Mama, I saw Rocky. Uh, you saw Rocky? Yeah, but I did do Rocky. Can you come sit right here? When I tell you Rocky is obsessed with his Haya's daily children's multivitamin, I am not even exaggerating. He gets so excited when I tell him it's time to take it and he loves picking out which color that he gets for the day and he eats it no problem. If you've never heard of Haya before, it is a pediatrician approved, super powered, chewable multivitamin for kids above the age of two. Unfortunately, typical children's multivitamins are basically candy in disguise. They are filled with so much sugar, unhealthy chemicals, and all this gummy junk that I honestly do not want to be a part of my child's daily routine, which is why Haya was created. Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and vegetables, and then it is supercharged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals. Not to mention it is non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, basically free of anything that you don't want a part of your kid's daily routine. If you are a mom of a toddler, I'm sure you can relate, but feeding them can be such a struggle, which is why I love that their multivitamin is formulated by nutritional experts to help fill the most common nutritional gaps within a child's diet. And the best part, you guys, is it is sent straight to your door on a pediatrician recommended schedule, so you don't have to add another thing to your to-do list. You get this super cute glass customizable bottle with your first purchase as you guys can see Rocky has decorated his and then they send you eco-friendly refills each month so if you'd like to make getting nutrients in your kids diets so much easier Haya is offering you 50% off your first month you can go to HayaHealth.com slash 
Kylene Rodriguez, or you can click the link in my description box. Let me know if you guys end up trying it out. All of my friends' kids who are taking this multivitamin are equally as obsessed. It's funny, they all act like it's candy, and I cannot wait to get Echo on it. I hope that you guys love it as much as we do, and thank you again to Haya Health for working with me on today's video. Okay, you guys have to see this garden update because we finally have fruit. My first jalapeno, and then I think I've counted like seven or eight tomatoes growing. This one is my best one so far. I am so excited about this, you guys. There's another one right here, and another one down there. I started this garden in April or May, and this is the first like successful fruit we have had on our plants which is honestly insane, but I'm also just so happy that everything is still alive. We had 30 plus days of over 110 degrees here in Arizona, so the fact that these bushes are still producing fruit after that is a huge win. We did lose one tomato plant and we did lose one habanero plant, and the habanero plant that is still there has not produced any fruit yet, but I am hopeful. I've replanted some green onion in here too because some of those died in the summer as well. But I am so excited. I cannot wait to make pico with fresh tomatoes from our garden. I wanted to catch you guys up really quick on just life lately. So last week I didn't post like literally anything to any socials and it's just because it was a crazy week with my sister's wedding. I was the maid of honor in her wedding and there was just a bunch of like activities going on that I had planned and so work was just like put on the back burner. I will update on her wedding and just how it went on our podcast, which is a fun little exciting announcement. Um, Brooke and I started the podcast back up last week as well, so season two, episode one is already live and we're filming episode two tomorrow too. So if you guys wanna hear more on just like life lately and like what's going on, I chat your ear off there. I also wanted to catch you guys up on just like what's going on in this week. So today is Tuesday and on Thursday, I am hosting a kids like little Halloween party for Rocky and Echo. They are gonna have about like 10 to 12 friends come. So it's gonna be a pretty good turnout. I am going with a like ghost theme party. Um, it's not gonna be anything like too crazy, but I did find some really cute decor things that I wanted to share with you guys. Now I'm horrible, but the first company I found, I literally can't even remember the name. I think it's like my mind's eye or something like that. Um, this is not sponsored. I bought all of this, but I will leave it linked. Oh, it's right here. My mind's eye. Favored goods. Um, my friend posted something about this actual banner, and then I saw another friend post about it, and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I have to get some of this for the party because it is so cute. I don't think I'm going to actually open it, but this is like a little spooky banner, and if you can see here, this is like what it looks like, but I'm going to hang this on the two kids tables that I have. If you guys are new, I bought two kids tables from Home Depot. I will leave them linked down below for you guys. But I bought them for Echo's birthday this year and they have come in clutch so many times. And my friends have borrowed them too. I am so glad I made that purchase. So I'm gonna use those two tables and I am going to hang this little banner from the front of it. I'm gonna jump around companies and stuff because I want it to make sense of how I'm decorating. But on that table, I got this cute little tablecloth. This is just from Amazon. And then on top of the tablecloth, I am going to put this in the center. So the tables together will be four feet by eight feet and this is two feet by four feet. So this will just like be in the center. And this is a cute little Halloween um, drawing. What would you even call this? They can color this. Why can't I think of what the word is? This is from a company that I used with Echo's birthday party as well. And if you guys saw my Halloween basket idea, they're the ones who made those coloring books too. So I got this like big old piece of paper that the kids can color on and it'll be underneath like their plates. So that's like a little activity in its own. And then from that same My Mind's Eye company, I got these little ghost plates, which I thought were super cute. And then I got these little treat boxes that are ghosts as well. And inside the treat boxes, I'm gonna put a lunch for them. They're coming from about like 10 to 12. So I'm just gonna do some Costco food. I'm gonna go get Uncrustables and I'm gonna cut them into the shape of a ghost. I think I'm gonna get a bag of chips and maybe just like a juice box or something. Make it so simple. Um, I don't wanna put like too much pressure on myself because that's what was gonna make me not do this and I really wanted to host something like this. 
And then also on the table, I'm gonna make little cupcakes and I found these little ghost things from Target. And so I'm just gonna put these into the cupcakes and just make it super quick and easy. On the topic of cupcakes, I also purchased this from Amazon. These are little piping bags with like the little thing that makes like the design. I make so many cakes and stuff like that for events and I'm just like, I need to purchase this. Uh, I got it on Amazon Prime Day and I think together this was like $10 for all of that. But I'm excited to be able to just like make my cupcakes look more like bakery-esque, if that makes sense. And then the last thing that I have is this little um, ghost like banners. They are actually ones that you can hang. So it shows it here. And I'm gonna hang these above the table. Um, these are so cute to me. I'm gonna keep these for future decorations within my kids' playroom. And I just am obsessed with it. I did kind of go like more girlier this time. Usually I don't because of Rocky, but I thought it would be cute and fun. And I was like, you know what? Echo deserves like some cutesy stuff in her life too. Cause all that poor girl is used to is action figures and fighting and all the boy things. So that is like the decoration wise. Um, we're also going to use our bounce house from Play Small and I'm gonna make a little balloon arch for it. And for the balloons, I'm gonna add like little ghost eyes to like the white balloons. I thought that was a cute idea. I'm also gonna do a couple of like sensory play activities, which we are going to go run some errands once Echo's up from her nap. And so I'll explain all of those once I get back from the store, but we're gonna have a, like two sensory activities, the coloring, the bounce house, all the kids are coming in costumes and we're just gonna leave it at that. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I just talked so fast, but I do feel like I'm on a very like quick timeline today. I have my entire day mapped out so that way I can get everything accomplished. So let's go get Echo and let's head to Costco and maybe one other place. My friend offered to help with something, so I may not need to run that errand. Thank goodness. Can you throw your Vinkies back in? Can you throw them in? Good job. Good job, sister girl. Let's go get Rocky, okay? Hey, in two days, I'm throwing you a Halloween party. Yeah! <laughs> All of your friends are gonna come over in their costumes. You get to be Spider-Man in front of all your friends and we're gonna have yummy treats and fun activities. Okay? Maybe Buzz coming? Um, I don't know if they can get out of school, but Asher's coming and so is Ellie and Kip and Hux and Luca. All of your friends are coming. Ozzy and Ledger. Hey, so mama needs your help running some errands right now for the party, okay? I want one moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Rare sighting, Nathaniel has a shirt on. <laughs> the kids did not want me to take them downstairs or do anything, so thank goodness Dada just worked right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Which combo you got? <laughs> Hi, can I do the box combo, please? You got it. Anything else? Yeah, can I sub the coleslaw for a Texas toast? Anything else? That'll be all. Awesome, thanks. You guys threw me off guard. Rocky is a lucky boy today, and he came home with who? Spidey. Spidey and his amazing friends. I always get the kids a box combo, sub the coleslaw for an extra Texas toast and then like rip this in half and it's so easy but I burn my fingers every time I rip apart their chicken. Bubby, you already showed them. Are you so excited? Say, yummy food! 
Rocky's hand around Echo. Are you freaking kidding me? While the kids are eating, I wanted to chat with you guys because we just booked a very exciting vacation. We are going to Disneyland right after Thanksgiving, which I am so excited about. First of all, I've never been to Disneyland during the Christmas time. We used to go all the time during the Halloween time, which was super fun. But I can just only imagine how magical Disneyland is in Christmas time. I cannot contain my excitement. I've already been online looking for like cute Disney outfits for the kids, which if you guys are looking for some cute ideas, I will leave them linked below because I already found some really good finds for not too bad of a price, but give me all of your guys' Disney tips because I think we're just gonna go Nathaniel and I, um, originally we had thought some family was gonna come with, but I don't know if the time we are booked is gonna work for everyone, so we'll see. But I think it's just gonna be us with our two toddlers, so I need all the tips. Um, I'm assuming one of us is gonna wait in a line and the other one is gonna tend to the kids and we're gonna switch and it's gonna be a lot of that. Um, we are doing two days and both hopper passes and we have a hotel close enough that we can walk back for naps. So that is the plan. And I'm hoping that will allow us to like stay late for like the fireworks and just all of that. So I am so freaking excited. Also, I had a friend who's a travel agent book this for us. So I literally didn't have to do any research or planning. I told her the days we wanted to go and she has like taken care of all of it. So I'm gonna leave her information down below too, just in case you want to book things, but like planning it stresses you out. I didn't realize that like it's actually cheaper to do it with a travel agent. Um, she found us a really good deal and we don't have to pay her. She like gets paid through the like hotels and all of that. So super exciting, but I cannot believe we get to go to Disneyland during the Christmas time. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm clearly not gonna pack all of these right now because some of this stuff needs to go in the fridge, but this is just gonna be like the little lunch options for them. So it just has some chips, a sandwich, and a little applesauce. Okay, I wanted to briefly explain the activities we're gonna be doing. So the first thing we are doing is pumpkin washing. My kids do this all the time and they love it. I'm gonna put these in the little sensory table I have outside with some brushes, soap, and water. Call it good. The other thing is that we're gonna do a little sensory activity and we're gonna use pipe cleaners, these little like fuzzy balls and googly eyes, and then some Play-Doh. And the kids are gonna be able to make either like a ghost, a spider, a monster, just like whatever their heart desires. So that will go in my sensory bin that I have in the playroom, but I will bring that outside as well. And then this is my balloon arch situation. So I actually already had all of these balloons from the 100 balloon arches we've already made, but in here is like a creamy white and a black, and then I'm not sure the colors yet, but I have purple, pink, and like this rust orange color. I will possibly show you guys how I make my balloon arches in a minute, but I use rubber bands to tie them together instead of like little bands that comes with it and it's so much easier. And then I attempted to cut out like little ghost eyes to put on the white balloons, but I was struggling with the shape. So if I have more patience later, I will try that again and hopefully create some cute little eyes to put on the white balloons. If you're a new follower of mine and you have not heard me say this before, but whenever I have parties or events, I love to try and make as many things beforehand as possible, especially cakes. You can make them and then just put them in the freezer and pull them out day of and it's so much easier. And I specifically like to do a box cake because it's easy, but then I like to make my frosting homemade because it tastes so much better and I feel like you can't really tell the difference between like a box cake and a regular cake, not really, but you definitely can tell the difference between homemade frosting and bot frosting. So. Those are my little tips. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that I didn't have cupcake liners. And so the same friend that is helping me with a few things said she would pick them up for me, which is so nice. And so I'm just gonna make the frosting right now, but this cake is gonna be super easy. I can make this tomorrow and it won't be that big of a deal. The following podcast is a Dear Media production.
change into a sound The one that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really wanna hear you out I can't know how it is To be where you so calmly sit When I'm further my own Okay, I decided that we're gonna make the balloon arch right now because we have a second. I've recruited some help over there. I thought it was gonna help me really quick because when we do this together, we can knock this out in like, I bet you we could do it in like 30 to 45 minutes. What do you think? Yeah. Like I said before, I do not use the balloon strip that it comes with. I use rubber bands and I will show my process as we go through it. Um, but basically, we are going to make bundles of six balloons. And I like to make these balloons medium and large size. We'll do small ones in a bit. Um, but this is gonna be like the base of the balloon arch. And I will do this for three to four different colors. So like I said, we're gonna start with white and black. And we're just gonna take regular sized balloons. I will leave a link to the ones that I like the best but we are going to fill up six and I'll show you how we tie them together. Also, if you don't have a balloon pump, I will leave a link for that too. You need one. There's no way you're blowing up an entire balloon arch with your mouth. You'll never make one again. Okay, so we just blew up six. So you're gonna take two balloons and you're gonna tie the ends together and you're gonna do that with all six of the balloons. So you will have three groups of two. I like to put the medium and large ones together so it kind of just creates like some dimension. And then now that you have the three sets of two, you're gonna take them and like put them in between each other and then just like twist around a bunch of times. There's literally no rhyme or reason, just twist it so it's tight. So now I have four and then I'm gonna take the two and I'm gonna twist it into the four. This one's a little bit tighter, but if you can just kind of wrap it around one of the balloons, you'll be able to then just kind of like do that whole twisting motion again and get them all secured to each other. So now you're gonna have like a little bundle of six balloons and I like to do two to four of these of each color. Today I think we are just gonna do two of each color because um, I'm trying to make this one a little bit smaller. So go through and do that with all of your colors and then I'll show you how I put it together. Okay, so now we have all of the big balloons filled up. I'll show you guys in a second, but we ended up going with three bundles of six for pink and for cream and then two bundles of black of six and that's just because I ran out of black balloons. But now we are going to make small little bundles to kind of fill in gaps and just give it more texture. So I do these in clumps of two and of three. And for two, I'll just tie them together. And then three, I just take the two and then tie a third one to it too. So we're gonna go through all of that and then I will show you guys the assembly part. Okay, here are our bundles. They are all separated right now and we're just gonna tie them together with rubber bands. Catching only part of it. To just be, to really see something other than just me. Okay, something that's kind of hard, but like also nice about balloon arches is you can just like continue to just move them like however you'd like. So I'm not gonna be able to get it like in its most perfect state until like I'm gonna hang it up. I'm thinking of making it of more of like a thicker, shorter one instead of like a long skinny one. So I'm gonna go through and do the same thing now, but with the small uh, balloons and I'm just gonna attach them to holes in places that I feel like are kind of like lacking. I hit the brakes, throw stones into a quiet lake. What is it you really see? And there you have it. It is not perfect, but it's cute, it's cheap, 
and it always makes such a big statement on any sort of party or event that we have. Really quick before the kids wake up, I wanted to give you guys a little peek at Echo's Halloween costume. She's gonna be a unicorn. And then Rocky is so obsessed with Spider-Man, he could not, not be Spin. I definitely gave up on the idea of a family costume this year, which kind of stinks, but honestly, it's not a big deal. I was not gonna make Echo be Ghost Spider, and Rocky was not gonna not be Spin. He's so obsessed with Spidey and his amazing friends. So it is what it is. They're both gonna be so cute individually, and I'm just really excited to see them all dressed up and trick or treat. Echo's gonna be like so into it this year and Rocky like fully understands it as well. So it's gonna be such a fun night. Do you wanna build a web quarters? Sure. Why you yeah, I would love to be those. Oh, and pee A computer? Yeah. Okay. For Tracy to work and see all the bad guys? What the heck happened? Wait. Who broke it? Who? <laughs> it is all clean upable, as I said in my last video. If you guys need tips of how to feel better about being a mom, go watch it. Cheers to a coffee at 4.48. Do it. Cheers. Do you see any other things? I hear We just pulled up to our friend's house. Um, long story short, the one that's helping me with like all of the stuff for the party, I ran into her at the gym this morning and she offered to make dinner for us tonight. So it just made my day a little bit easier. I didn't have to plan or prep anything. And so we're just gonna go and hang out, let the kids play and have some dinner. I'll give you more than half a Dinner was super nice. It was so nice to have it made for us. Very thankful for the friends in our lives, but we um, gave the kids cookies at the end and the sugar just like popped them off. They were like running around like crazy. And then putting Rocky down per usual was fun. <laughs> So I am tired, I am ready for bed, but I need to take off my makeup and I wanted to chat with you guys just about like the craziness of this season and like trying to still find like normalcy within it. I like am so in love with this time of year. I think it is so fun and it's so nice to just like have so many things to do and that are going on, but it is so easy to just kind of get out of routine of the things that make life just like smooth and easy and make me feel good. As I mentioned, last week was crazy with like my sister's wedding and I just feel like I hardly made dinner. And we just kind of had like a bunch of like yo-yo dinners or dinner out. And honestly, that is like something that really makes me feel really out of routine, which is funny because I didn't make dinner again tonight even though it was super helpful. It is something that makes me feel like just in the flow of things. A lot of events during this time of year are at night, so I feel like dinner can always be something to go super quick. But I, I guess I'm just sharing that if you guys have spent this year kind of like I have, trying to like really prioritize things that make you feel good, don't lose them entirely during this season. Uh, I think it's good to enjoy and just be flexible, but, but also remembering just the habits that you've created. The night before my sister's wedding, we all stayed in an Airbnb and one of the girls gave us these like little towels, which as you can see, there's makeup all over it, but I literally just put water on it and it just got my mascara off so well. We are going to continue our Harry Potter series. We're on the fourth one, The Goblet of Fire. 
and honestly it's taking us a while to get through them because we keep watching them in our bed and we keep falling asleep because we've been so tired lately. Long story short, we're watching them on a certain app that like only works on our TV upstairs. So it's just a recipe for disaster. But I've been really enjoying watching this series during this time of year, highly recommend. I also highly recommend Haya's Children's Daily Multivitamin. It is the best one out there, you guys. I swear your kids are going to love it. And if you want to check it out, you can go to hayahealth.com backslash Kylene Rodriguez or click the link in my description box for 50% off your first order. Let me know if you guys try it out. I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be posting a lot of the party that you guys got to see the behind the scenes of on there. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.